back to another episode of HVAC system design uh, with the channel of the world of building design. Uh, so in this video, I would like to talk with you about the role of shading in the calculation of the thermal load through the windows. We are considering that in the carrier half software. So uh, we would like to explore a little bit on how the shading characteristic of the windows work in the carrier half, how we have to input that data into software. So I'm going to show you some uh, schematic view of uh, the window, uh, its uh, orientation compared to other components such as overhang or if we have uh, kind of dividers between the windows, how we would like to consider those elements that play a role in the shading uh, characteristic of the windows. And as you know, shadings are depending on the geometry of the, the window and their location within the building envelope and they, they are playing some role in terms of how much the thermal load is absorbed through the windows and eventually is uh, conveyed into the building as part of the building load uh, which will in turn impact uh, your total thermal load and equipment selection and sizing as you know we have many other videos if you're uh, interested in this area please uh, look at the other videos we have videos about the uh, 3d modeling uh, of the HVAC systems uh, with the Revit MEP software. We have many videos that uh, you can take advantage of if you like uh, modeling of the sprinkler system. We have some videos in that area and uh, we have multiple carrier half software related uh, tutorial videos. And don't forget please to subscribe in this channel of the world of building design. And uh, if you press on the notification button as well, also uh, you will see the new tutorial as soon as they are posted because we are posting uh, you know, weekly videos. These are mostly related to the HVAC design in this area. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the tutorial. In this video, I would like to talk with you a little bit about the um, shading on the windows. So this is one of the topics that we didn't have much chance to review. So when we model a uh, building in uh, Carrier Hub software uh, and we introduce the building envelope uh, components such as windows to the Carrier Hub, uh, there are other consideration that needs to be taken into account, especially the orientation, the geometry of the window, and uh, basically its installation uh, positioning uh, compared to the building envelope. And uh, we have to consider that in our calculation. So Carrier Hub uh, anticipates some information to be provided uh, so that the shading um, you know, elements to be introduced to the windows depending on their installing location. So in this video, we're gonna go over the um, shading component uh, and how we have to determine those information um, with respect to different windows types in the carrier hat. So if you remember, um, when we were using the space tab on the left-hand side, uh, we have all these spaces shown in different names in here. And as an example, if I get into the exercise area the space, um, on the wall, windows, and doors tab on the top, as you can see, there are exposure orientation of the windows, the window sizes, and then the quantity of the window sizes are here. And we could select from the drop down menu on the right hand side what window type we do have because. We have introduced all of this type of windows already in the windows library on the left hand side. Uh, we have now option to select from drop down menu. But another important aspect is whatever windows we select, we have another option in the below that you can see that we have shading uh, as an option. So if you have that windows built into your system, you might want to also explain and define what kind of shading would be associated with that type of window. So if I come to this drop down menu, there is one option is here, which is window shading north. This is something I had built from before. So I can go through that and show you. So this is the correlation 
between your window on the orientation and then the shading that you have to define. So now, where we have to define the shading characteristic of a specific windows? I'm going to close down this uh, menu or this uh, box. So as you can see on the left hand side drop down menu uh, under the project library, uh, we have this different uh, building envelope elements and I go to the shading. So as you can see, I have built one shading uh, character with the, with the north wall windows. So I just wanted to open that and show you what it involves. So when you open the, um, you know, when you create a new shading characteristic, basically there are some information you have to fill it up here. It's uh, first of all, you, you determine a name of the shading characteristic, if it is for your specific windows or if it's based on the building orientation. Uh, but this is more related to the window installation style because some of the windows might have overhang, as you can see, uh, or they might not. And, and also they, they might have some uh, component or elements that are introduced to the right-hand side or left-hand side of the window, which is called uh, right and left fin. I'm going to show you in a moment how this works all together, uh, but this is pretty much information you have to fill up related to every of these uh, elements that are installed adjacent to the windows or the windows uh, orientation or locationing or positioning itself. So I'm going to show you now a graph of a window type. Okay, so as you can see in this, um, you know, in the graph on the left hand side, basically you will see a window and then this flat surface, which is now we call it overhang, um, which is right above the window. And then we have the window itself and then the other uh, dimension you can see. So we're going to look at this one at a time. I'm going to highlight it so that we correlate it with the, uh, you know, with this uh, with this box that it was in the carrier half software where you have to fill up that information. So, so if you look at the overhang, first of all, I'm going to highlight this. So the overhang portion is basically this. Uh, flat surface is the overhang part of us that we, we're going to consider. So the first item you have to fill it up is projection from surface. So what is the projection from surface? So that basically means that the distance between, uh, you know, the, the distance from the edge of the, you know, the overhang and also the surface of the wall itself. So this distance is basically called overhang surface or projection. So this distance that you can see, that is the projection from surface. You have to know if you have an overhang with your window, what is that projection would be. So that's one of the information you find. Then the height above the window. Basically, this is the distance or the height above the window. So sometimes your uh, overhang is not right top of the window. It might have been right above the window with a certain distance. So that's what you have to fill it up here. And then we have two other elements here, which is uh, extend past the right-hand side of the window and extend past left-hand side of the window. That's basically, I'm going to highlight that just to show you what we're talking about. So. For these two elements that you have to fill it up related to the overhang, basically these two information that you have to fill it up. So basically the overhang is extended further away from the window itself. So how much that's extended further away, you have to record or measure that from your architectural drawing and input that into this uh, you know, uh, spaces for the extent past on the right hand side and on the left hand side of the uh, window itself. Okay, so that's the information about the overhang and its, um, you know, geometry um, coordination compared to the window itself. 
Then we have the reveal depth. So the reveal depth is another element you have to introduce here. And basically that's this information here. That's basically the, uh, you know, the, the location of the window compared to the surface of the wall. So if you have um, some, um, if you have the window flashed with the surface of the wall, then basically your reveal depth is zero. But if you have um, windows installed, um, you know, inside of the building envelope, or kind of there is some, um, you know, projection interior to the building envelope, then you have to find that information from your drawing and input that in here as a reveal depth, um, you know, information. So that's that's about the reveal depth uh, in the uh, carrier half software. Okay. Okay. So these are these are the information about the overhang and then the window positioning compared to the to the wall envelope itself. Then I'm going to go to a different slide here just to show you the other other components that might involve with the window. For example, if you have seen the high-rise buildings where you have a window and you have another another uh, apartment unit on the right hand side in here, for example, and uh, there is this element or component separating the window on the balcony from two separate apartments. That's basically the component uh, we are uh, you know, trying to visualize here. So this is a fin, it's called a fin. So is a, you know, is an element or component that, um, you know, that might install you know, next to a window. So we have to consider that in here. If you don't have such a thing in say office high rise building where there is no uh, balcony or there's no separation between the windows, uh, you can keep this all zero. But if you have such an element, you have to also introduce the, uh, you know, the, uh, the geometry of those things as opposed to your windows itself. So, so as you can see on the left fin, uh, the projection from surface, again, that's your distance or projection from surface. So, um, you know, what is the projection coming out of the wall or building envelope wall itself? Then you have the height above the window. So that's basically the distance we're talking about. So that's the height above the window. So this, um, you know, the fin is extending above the window on the height and then we have distance from edge of the window. So that's the distance from the edge of the window. So these are the information you have to fill it up and right hand fin is the same. So if you have uh, a fin on that side, then you have to fill it up. So both of this information for your window. So this is basically has to do with the impact that sun uh, and it's um, you know um, thermal transmission through window is. So it's kind of correction factor for our window, um, you know, thermal transmission or, um, you know, um, it's a kind of combination of uh, heat transfer uh, from the sun energy into the window. We have uh, radiant heat or we have conduction heat. We have all the combination of this heat transfer method, um, but there is some correction factor we have to consider. So the shading would be one of those correction factors we have to consider. So. And as I said, this is the shading geometry property information you have to fill it up. I go back to uh, the carrier half. So you have to fill it up that depending on the type of window you have, you can basically change that to say window type 1A and save it, whatever it is. And then when you are in your space and you are in a specific space and you want to determine your window type, if I go to the window for the shading, for that window, okay, let me go, yeah, for that type of window, I can go and select my window shading A, and then when you apply OK, that uh, correction factor is applied to the whole uh, heat transfer, uh, you know, equation that calculates the heat transfer from that type of window. So that's basically something I wanted to discuss in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.